G'day you cheeky dogs, today we are breaking down the Bluey mini so drums with all of the musical hidden details that have been confirmed by one of the animators at Ludo Studios and of course the theory that perhaps Bingo is a prodigy child. Now this all starts from Chili thinking that the violin of all instruments would be the perfect one for Bingo. I'm trying to get my youngest daughter into violin. I think it might really suit her. Even though in all of the Bluey episodes we have never seen Bingo show any interest in an instrument like this. So why would Chili think this? Well, studies have shown that musical training, particularly a complex instrument like a violin, has a lot of positive impact on cognitive abilities like improvements to attention, memory, and fine motor skills. So perhaps Chili thinks that Bingo needs help in these areas? <laughs> or perhaps she thinks that she would do well with a special interest because perhaps Bingo has autism. Music is an area of special interest for many autistic people and there has long been many theories about Bingo possibly being on the spectrum of some sort. Of course though, we don't see Bingo playing any violins in this minisode, but instead deciding to give the drums a play. <laughs> And by play, we mean literally learn how to play the drums all by herself. And play along with the song perfectly, which is well beyond what a regular five-year-old is usually capable of doing when they see an instrument for the very first time. Thus, this makes it seem like Bingo is like almost a bit of a savant or perhaps a prodigy of the drums to have done this all so fast. Now, sadly, because of the earphone connection to it, no one else in the store can hear this miraculous playing that she's doing and they just end up leaving. I almost wanted to yell at Chili saying, no, buy the drums. But of course, it is clear that this is definitely Bingo's special talent. Now, it is possible, of course, that she might have had some prior lessons and maybe not formal ones, but perhaps some from her dad, Bandit. We do see Bandit's drumming talent multiple times in Bluey episodes and even in the new Bluey mini-sode Brownie Bear as well. Sometimes I like to pretend that I'm the drummer for Led Zeppelin. All the way back in season one though, we did see multiple instances of Bandit's love for drumming, such as in the very first episode of Bluey with the bum bongos in Magic Xylophone. You can be the bum bongos. As well, of course, in the very pilot episode, The Weeknd, where he's playing with the drumsticks on the table. What have we got here? It's a drumstick. Oh, you beauty. And then, of course, more iconically in the episode 47, Neighbours. So perhaps Bingo learnt it so quickly because of Bandit. But cheeky dogs, let me know in that comment section down below what you think of all these different theories and why do you think that Bingo was able to learn the drums so quickly? <laughs> As for the hidden details and Easter eggs in this episode, the confirmed ones are all to do with the music albums that are on the back of the wall in the shop here. Now these are all based on albums in real life. The background animators for this episode were kind enough to confirm with me that these were based on a mixture of different albums. These ones here included the local Brisbane rock station 4ZZZ and their compilation albums from 1986, as well as this one here, which is one of their compilation albums from the year 2000. We also have a shout out to Bandit's voice actor, Dave McCormack, who is of course the lead singer in one of the most famous bands in Australia called Custard. This one I absolutely love because it does show in an homage to one of his famous albums called We Have the Technology from 1997. And in general, I just always love with all the little like Custard jokes. And we even again saw more in the episode Brownie Bear, which yes, of course, I will be doing a video on later this week. So make sure that you do hit that subscribe button and that bell for notifications down below so you know when that video comes out. As for the other albums on the wall, we also have two more of them that are a reference or little Easter egg to another one of the background anime of Bluey, Rob Corliss, who is in his own band called Fiesta Fiasco, and these are based off that band as well. Overall, this minisode was, of course, the most anticipated one, and I do feel like it did live up to the expectations. However, for me, I would probably rank it at number three. It did have some really funny jokes in it, which I loved about the violins and the background dialogue. Uh, big ones, little ones, wooden ones, uh, different wooden ones, cheap ones, expensive ones. Normally, for someone your child's age, we'd start them off with a quarter-sized violin. As well as the confirmation that Europe does exist in the Blueyverse. If we import mm -hmm. Europe, that can be quite expensive. I did also love the sales 
Clark joke about why he couldn't give Bingo any lessons. Do you do lessons? Me? No. RSI of the four pool. So, cheeky dogs, let me know down below what you thought of this episode, as well as where you would rank it out of the seven new minisodes that have now officially dropped worldwide. While you're down there as well, don't forget to hit that like button and, as I mentioned before, the subscribe button and bell, all of those buttons down below, so you know whenever I release any other Bluey videos. But until my next video, I have picked your cheeky dogs out a few other videos that maybe you would like to watch, and I will see you all tomorrow for my next breakdown. Bye!